going on? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, I want to talk to you about how to price yourself as an SEO consultant. This is a question that a lot of people tend to ask me, and I really want to give you some clarity around how to price yourself because everyone does it differently. And if you know me, I'm a very big advocate of the hourly pricing model, and I'm going to tell you why today. So just stick around, watch the entire video. We're going to jump into this. So I'm just going to uh, make this OBS thing. Here's why I think hourly pricing is the best model as an SEO consultant. If you know S if you are doing SEO and you're good at SEO, you understand that SEO is a really completely bespoke service. What I mean by that is it's extremely customized to the person's needs or the, the client's needs, right? Problem with not doing hourly pricing is that you can start to run into rabbit holes and then there's no there's nothing that helps you with scope creep. So if I go and I say, okay, I'm gonna charge a client $4,000 a month, and of that $4,000 a month that I'm gonna charge them, I'm going to do keyword research, I'm going to do technical SEO, I'm gonna do content, I'm gonna do link building, I'm gonna do um, you know, all this stuff. Well, while I'm doing that technical SEO audit, there could be a million things that I could find that's gonna take so much time for me to figure out, okay, why is this happening? and what is the proper solution to recommend because this is happening. And then there could be so many different rabbit holes like that that you start running down. And now what happens is, now you're spending your time trying to figure out all these problems. You figure out these problems, and then after you figure out these problems, you spent so much time doing this that your hourly rate is devalued. So you start devaluing yourself because there's nothing preventing you from scope creep or there's nothing preventing you from you know protecting the amount of hours that you're spending. And now, once you find this issue and you do the content, you do all the stuff, now the client starts asking you for even more stuff. You're only charging them $4,000 and you've already spent over 20 hours on fixing this one thing. And it, you know, let's say you spent over 40 hours on fixing this one thing. Now they're asking you for more and more and more and more. How do you set the boundaries, especially if you have other clients, right? And that's the problem with not using with not using the hourly model when it comes to doing SEO because there can be so much scope creep since there's so many things that you have to figure out but also you know your clients are going to want more work from you and you have to deliver on that because you're not setting the right boundaries so in my opinion there's a couple of ways that people like to do pricing but the way that I like to do it is I like to do it by hours and I just said that and here's why because number one I can avoid scope creep number two I have other clients to focus on, not just one. And don't get me wrong, like I want to get my client the best result possible, but you need to make sure that your service is profitable for you, right? Like at the end of the day, you're a human being, you're running a business, and you need to make sure that you're doing everything to where it makes the most sense. Here's a way you can, you can, um, you know, and, and this really works for like, I would say like, you know, mid, I would say small to mid-sized businesses. Um, because this is assuming that you're going to be doing implementation. Now, I'm at a point where I don't do implementation anymore, and I just do completely strategy work, but I know a lot of people that watch my channel, they're gonna do implementation. If you wanna see a video of me breaking it down of how I just charge for strategy, to let me know but this is mainly and, and you know kind of the same principles can follow but like if you want to see that then let me know but i know most of you are doing are going to actually do the work and do the fulfillment so what you can do is this is the agreement that i found to be my favorite when i was doing implementation which is having some type of uh some type of stages right so you have packages so you have package one package two and package three and the only difference between these packages is the amount of time that you're allocating both with calls and also with the amount of hours you can allocate. And so the thing is, is that these are different packages, but they're all, they all follow the same stage. Stage one, so the first thing is you need to sell the audit, right? So let's, let's just back up a little bit. First thing is you need to sell the audit. Let's say you price your audit at $1,000. Let's say you price this at $1,000, okay? You're selling your audit for $1,000 and your audit is going to consist or the foundational stage i should say is going to be the brand analysis questionnaire and the technical audit and the reason why these are the most important things in my opinion in the beginning is because this is going to be the foundation for having a good seo campaign you need to know what separates your your seo your client from their competitors you need to know about their their tonality in their content you need to know about so many different things around their brand but then also you need to make sure that their website is technically sound because here's the thing if you're just posting content on the website and the, 
the website isn't you know good technically then what's going to happen is that's going to be a huge bottleneck and you're not going to get the amount of success that you can get so first you do the, the audit right the, the foundational stage audit then you do the execution and that's where you know you tell them like first we do the audit then foundational um the foundational stage in the plan when is when we is basically the first part of the strategy right so that's what we should say it's the first part of the strategy let's say you're doing this at 10 hours a month okay now if you're doing this at 10 hours a month and one call per month you're doing 10 hours of optimization within that foundational element that foundational stage so for example if it takes you 20 hours to finish that whole entire audit that you did then that's going to take you two months to finish this part of stage one okay that's very important to realize it can take you two months to finish this part of stage one okay now the reason why now so after you're finished the stage and obviously you go to the next one so if you're doing content right then it's your 10 hours a month to content and that's existing content on their website so everything that's already on their website that's ranking well right maybe not ranking in position one but it's ranking already you need to see what type of on-page optimizations you can make to those pages so that they can perform even better so optimizing existing content and then the research phase which is now you look for new opportunities and after you look for new opportunities you know you spend 10 hours a month towards that and so on and so on right that's the first package now you sell that at you know and you also give them one call and you said that at twenty five hundred dollars that is two hundred and fifty dollars an hour okay now the reason why i think that you need to do it this way is because again you cannot so some you know and we're going to get into this i know I'm, i feel like i'm jumping ahead but some people like to do like they'll do like this technical seo audit right then they'll do content and then they'll do links and then they'll do ongoing research or whatever and then they'll take they'll say okay 10 hours for this 10 hours for that 10 hours for this 10 hours for that the problem is, is that the way SEO is, you shouldn't be, at least in my opinion, you shouldn't be allocating 10 hours to one thing, then 10 hours to the next thing, then 10 hours to the next thing. It should be a, a, it should be a sequence, right? Because there are certain things that are more important than other things, and it needs to be prioritized. So technical, in my opinion, should be prioritized first over content, especially dependent on, and, and this is really highly dependent on the type of business you're working with. But like if you're working with an e-commerce business, there's gonna be a lot of technical problems. You know, that stuff should be, should also should be prioritized over content in my opinion. Because again, you can post as much content as possible, but if Google can't crawl your website, if Google can't see your content, then your content is not gonna rank or it's not gonna perform well. So that's why I heavily believe in these phases. Like you need to optimize what is going to be the highest priority so you can get the best results so priority one is foundational priority two is content and priority three is ongoing research okay as your packages increase your hourly rates go down but they're paying you more per month okay and not only they're paying you more per month but um they're getting more value you know so in the first one they might be paying you for 10 hours and they're paying you 250 dollars an hour right and that's only $2,500 a month but then the second package is like they're paying you $4,000 they're, they're getting 20 hours which is $200, $200 an hour and they're getting bi-weekly calls so they're getting more time spent and the goal is the reason why you want to sell it like this is because obviously you want to get the $6,000 package right so the $6,000 package is the third pa package which is 40 hours that you're going to spend you get weekly calls and then you're getting paid $150 an hour. Now, why is this the best one to go with? Because number one, you're gonna make more money on an hourly basis. Number two, the client is gonna be more happier because you can spend more time on their on their website. And if you're spending more time, you're gonna get much better results. It's just a no brainer. Number three, weekly calls. So you're building a relationship with them. So when you show them that they're paying, even though they're paying you more, they're actually paying you less per hour, it's a good, it's a good way to sell them onto that, right? As the time goes on and you start to reevaluate, you can always like upsell them or something or whatever. You can sell more services. You don't have to only sell SEO. I've seen some people talk about doing it this way, and this is another way you can do it. I just don't agree with this. Uh, not that I don't agree with this, but I just don't think it's the most efficient way to do it or the most, the best way to do it, I should say. You have an hourly rate, right? Let's say your hourly rate is $100 an hour. And you, you know, you want to spend, you know, 10, you're, you're doing 10 hours on technical, you're doing 10 hours on content, 
10 hours on links, 10 hours on ongoing research, like keyword research, finding new opportunities, et cetera, et cetera. And then what you're doing is you're saying, okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to charge my monthly price is going to be my hours, my hours per month that I'm spending times my hourly rate. If you're doing it by this definition, if your hour, if your hourly rate is a hundred dollars an hour, and you're spending 40 hours a month. If you do a hundred times 40, 40, that's a uh, $4,000 a month. Okay. Now you have your yearly rate of $48,000 a year and you give them bi-weekly calls, et cetera, et cetera. You could do it this way because this, this, this kind of looks like you're adding more value in a way. Um, because you, you're like, okay, you're getting 10 hours of this, 10 hours of that, 10 hours of this, 10 hours of that. But again, the problem is, is that SEO, in my opinion, is you need to focus on the highest priority things first and then go to the lowest priority things after. The first thing that's the highest priority is technical. The next thing is content and then research. And some people don't think technical is the highest priority thing, but I do because like I said, if Google can't see your website, you're not going to rank for nothing. You're not going to get any leads. You're not going to get any customers. You're not going to get anything. So now what happens when you start using an hourly model model again is now somebody says, Hey, Dre, you know, you did all this work, but we want you to do X, Y, and Z as well. Well, Hey, look, you know, we've used up all your hours for this month. If you would like for me to do this, then we can do it for you but we would just have to charge you for it on your next billing cycle. Okay. So you want to think about it like that. Okay. You want to think about it because, because now it allows you to be completely bespoke, right? For this client, it allows you to cater to their needs as a, as a company, but it's like, you're not losing any money. You're not losing any time. And it's so important in my opinion, in my opinion, because you need to set those boundaries to get the best results and you need to do it like this right so there's so many different ways you can price your strategies um, a lot of people ask me this question I just truly believe that this is the best way to do it I think you know especially this way this is my preferred method if you're only doing strategy I think it's a little bit different if you're doing strategy only then I would say you know just to give you like some some basic some basics when I do strategy work, you know, I, I create a roadmap and then I basically consult my client on that roadmap. So I tell them like what they need to do, how they need to do it. I talk to their developers. I answer any questions that they have. It's like I do Q and A's, you know, I get on a phone call with them. We try to, you know, think about, you know, what areas of the business SEO can help, um, other areas of the business that SEO can help. And it's more so just like having conver a conversation while also uh, working with them on this this product that i've because it, it's like i've i basically essentially ties i don't know if that's a word but i'm just going to use that productized my seo services um to where it's like i sell them the audit and after i sell them the audit now you can pay me a, a monthly fee at this rate for me to consult with you and that's how i do it with the strategy stuff but if you're just and, and the reason why i do it like that is because i think that i wouldn't say that you should charge hourly for a deliverable in my opinion because if you're charging hourly like when you're charging hourly then you're actually doing implementation and that means they're getting things done but when you, if you're charging hourly for a deliverable you're not they're not getting anything done so it's like why are they paying you for they're waiting for you to, d to deliver this deliverable and then they have to go implement it so like the amount of time that it takes for for them to receive the recommendations and then actually do the implementations that you suggested is significantly longer. So at that point, it's like, they're not going to want to pay you. I mean, maybe they will, but I, I just don't do it that way. Like I don't, I'd rather just sell the, the, the audit and then have calls with them and, you know, give them my, my rate for my calls and answer questions. And then once they're done and they've executed, then you know, we talk about the next steps, what we can do next, et cetera, et cetera. And I hold them accountable and I kind of act as like a project manager for them. Talk to the developer, talk to their marketing manager, talk, you know, and they'll ask me questions like, hey, you know, this is, there's a new WordPress update. Should we be afraid that everything is going to break and our SEO is going to be bad or, or what, what not? Right. So it really just depends again. And um, it's just one of those things that you have to takes time to figure out how it works for you. But that's how it works for me. But, but in terms of, you know, implementation, if you want to do implementation and I, you know, just, just do this, just like, it's the best way in my opinion on how to sell your services. It just makes more sense. You know, it, it makes more sense for you and the client. 
and you're not devaluing yourself. So thanks a lot for watching this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.